Hey, hey guys, uh, check this out. Got it, um, got the roof painted. Um, about a 16 degree Celsius day, so reasonably cold, but had some fast hardener in the, um, in the two pack and um, put, you know, one coat on really, really light, let it tack, but have a look at that for a finish. It's like, I don't, I don't even think I need to buff this. I think it's straight off the gun, just mint. I've got three coats on it. And um, yeah, amazing. Really happy with the, with the result. Three coats, little trick I do is on the second coat, I just start putting a little bit more thinners in it. And then the third coat, I, um, I really thin it out. And because you've got the two coats on there that are already kind of um, bonded on, you know, I didn't even get one run. Look, there's not one run in this whole thing, which is which I'm stoked about. But yeah, you can see the see the finish. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, just to go onto the um, onto the sides tomorrow. Tomorrow we've got a I think a 19 degree day, so it's going to be a little bit warmer. And then same, uh, hopefully try to get the red done um, the day after that. So yeah, happy days. I just thought I'd uh, show you. Still smells pretty bad in here, but um, had the fans set up just to extract it out. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on moving. I've got a little bit of work to do on the doors, just blocking them back. Found a few low spots, and um, we'll just have to put a little bit of um, skin coat on those just to fix them up. But uh, yeah, no, pretty happy. So the gun I used, um, it's a Bilbus. Oh, it's this one here. Um, FLG5, um, had it for a while now, um, bloody great gun, you know, it's not, not that expensive, I think it's about 300 bucks Australian, um, I've got that one and I've also got the GDI Light Pro, which is down there somewhere, um, but yeah, this gun here does primer really well, changed the tip over, um, and uh, yeah, that no, was really good. Alright guys, I'll do some more painting tomorrow and get back to you, cheers. Welcome back guys, uh, just getting the um, side coat, that's uh, one, uh, one pass so far, we're just waiting for the flash off, about 10 minutes and then um, hit it with the second coat, so far so good, you can see my little uh, effort over here, still haven't, uh, <laughs> haven't um, finished the bottom section yet but I just wanted to get this top half done. I've got my little fan going. It's not the best setup, but hey, it works. It's actually not not too misty inside, which is good. I've got. I do have my mask on. You can have a look here. And uh, yeah, not too bad. So it's hard waiting between coach. You always think it's um, it's time, but it's not. <laughs> You're like, come on, I need ten minutes. And uh, we'll just let this one get tacky and then the second coat will go on a little bit heavier and um, full of fan. And um, yeah, looking good. Just thought I'd give you a quick update while I'm painting. Might stick her on the uh, tripod in a minute and you can watch me put a couple of coats down. All right.
welcome back to the channel. Uh, what are we doing today? Let's have a look. We're probably not doing much actually because it's so bloody cold. Um, I'm actually going to invest in a, um, a little diesel heater just for this uh, shed because, yeah, it's like, you know, 10 degrees Celsius and it's killing me. Old bones. Anyway, um, we are masking up uh, windows. We've got all those down, which showed you a little bit of time lapse of that. Um, getting ready to paint the inside of it, the khaki, but burgundy red, which is that color. A nice original VW color. Um, yeah, we'll have a quick look inside. I've basically just gone over that with um, 240 and a Scotch Bright pad, which is kind of equivalent to a 600, I think, um, just to you know give it a bit of a sand in there. I mean, obviously it's going to have carpet and um, insulation and sound deadener and matting and all that stuff on it so um, um same with the inside here um just taping up the door um areas where we obviously don't want to get red on the outside on this nicely freshly painted surface um yeah but uh she's come up pretty good i, I don't know i think i'm definitely going to need a heater in here to, to get the bottom part painted in red but i did score these little puppies yesterday how cool are these? They're actually out of a spray booth. So I ended up getting four banks, one, two, three, four. So they're gonna be my side lighting. Um, as you know, if you're painting, uh, you, you, you need side lighting just to know where your wet line is when you're actually you know, spraying across the side here so that you get your overlaps right and you don't end up with raccoon stripes and dry spots. And so you, you, you know, if you're gonna spray at home in a garage or whatever, you know, having the lights above is sweet and you can get a really good job off the, you know, um, for the roof. But if you're going to, you know, spray the side of the car, you, you need some sort of side lighting. So I'm just going to set up two of those on that side and then two of them over there once all that crap's out of the way. And um, that'll give me a, um, a visual guide of where to go. Um, yeah, so, so far, that's kind of where I'm up to. Um... Yeah, just masking the inside, um, little bits and pieces in the dash there, working out what's um, what's going to be red and what isn't. I think from the factory, actually, they were probably white, uh, but I reckon the, a red dash is going to look better anyway, so we're going to do it red. Um, same with that. The uh, Ed console section up the top there, I'll do that in red as well. I reckon that'll look good, good contrast to the, once the headlining goes in. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are at the moment. I've still got a little bit of work to do on the um, cargo doors, or well, pretty much all the doors actually. Um, these ones, I've actually given them a coat of primer, but a thinned out coat so that it gives me a bit of a shine. And then I can come back here and have a have a look and see where all my little imperfections are because it kind of mimics the a final, you know, coat of paint. Uh, what it would look like so it's it's a good way I mean you can use guide coat and all that but I, I just I reckon it's just a good way to do it and I mean I'll, obviously I'll rub that back uh, and I have had to go over all these little spots just with that um, that sort of putty it's not it's not bog it's not a, a hardener one it's just straight out of a tube and you just rub it on but it just gets rid of those fine little little imperfections um, so they all need to be rubbed back uh, to get them ready and um, I've got my rack outside here to hang all those doors on that rack there. So that's, um, I'll, I'll wheel that in here when it comes to time to doing all the doors and getting that all done. Um, and then, um, yeah, happy days. We'll see what happens after that. We've got to get um, Dave from Vogstrim in to do the um, headlining up the top there. And uh, all the... Um, side bits and the seats as well so anyway that's the update for um today yeah like i said it's just bitterly cold and not very inspiring to be in here i'd rather be inside but um you know you got to keep i've got to keep moving on this project get it get it finished oh yeah and then there's the bumper bars too so they all need to be sent it back to bare metal um and there's got they've got dints in them so i've got to whack all the dints out and um get them ready for um paint as well 
Cool guys, all right, well, uh, I will continue with masking and we will see you guys soon.